there we go now you can hear me hopefully everything's up and running okay just had to adjust some of the settings there because it was blaring out of my headphones like way louder than it should be so hey everyone how are you all doing reanimators here in the chat bought the game and we'll play along for a bit 25 dollars for the collection was too good indeed I was actually planning on playing some more Super Monkey Ball tonight, but then when they, when they announced the Castlevania collection, I knew I had to check that out. So let's see what we've got first. I'm also interested to see what these uh, what these extra games are as well, because we have some we have some extra games here. We have Haunted Castle, the original Japanese version, and then we also have Haunted Castle Revisited, which I believe is a brand new one just for this particular release. We've also got galleries with some concept art for all the games, which is really, really cool to see. I love all three of these games as well, by the way. Um, I didn't get the first one on release, but I got the other two when they came out on the DS and absolutely loved them. Oh, it looks like they've even got scans of the instruction manuals here. I wonder whether they have the posters that came with the DS games. Let's see. No. Oh, they have all the different box art, though. That's the one I'm used to. That's the UK one. Is that China? No, Korea. Korea got one with, like, barely any writing on the box. They got the best cover. <clears throat> what else do we have? We have music. And you can make your own playlist, too, so that's pretty cool. Oh, wow. And, okay, you also get to choose any version you want of any game. And it seems like only Ecclesia got the Korean one. And the uh, logo changes too, that's cool. Move touch cursor. Okay, I'm interested to see how they deal with the touchscreen stuff. So, where shall we begin? I guess beginning with Dawn of Sorrow makes the most sense. But maybe. Let's just check these out for fun, because I've never played this version of the game before, so this will be interesting. Rewind. I refuse. 1988. I presume this was the arcade version. Wow, okay, that's that's different. That is not like any Castlevania game that I've seen before. Why is it so colourful? This is so weird. Okay, ready, I guess. Wow, the hitbox for the whip. Is very weird. Can you not stand on them? Okay, this is so strange. I'm curious to see what they've done with the remake. This feels so clunky compared to what I'm used to. <clears throat> Has anyone experienced this version of the game before? Oh my god. The whip's useless. Uh, I wonder what other settings we've got. Let's see. Oh, literally, other settings. What other settings do we have? How about an option called other settings? Oh, also, by the way, how's the audio? I haven't properly checked that yet. Is the game... Is the game okay? Like I said, it's been a while since I streamed last, so... Probably... Some of the settings aren't quite right. Please let me know in the comments. That's some intense rain. Oh, okay, we're doing like a yellow devil thing, are we? Oh my god, that is extreme rain. These physics. That's so floaty. Wow. Right. We failed that miserably. Let's see what we got. Okay, we've got a pixel perfect option. That might fix some of the shimmer that I was noticing. Yeah, that fixed it. See that? Can you see that? The way the background's black instead of grey. I suppose on the CRT you'd never notice that. Also, the grass is going over the stage name in the corner. Ah! Okay, we've got some Contra 3 fire coming out of nowhere. Kind of thing going on. And a Sparks to style man coming out of a tree. There's some interesting stuff happening here. Let's see what other settings are. We have scan lines. 
and smoothing options, I guess that would be the closest to the arcade experience. Yeah, that really looks pretty nice. Probably doesn't look too good on stream though. Let's just put it back to normal. We can also change the colour of the background itself. I'm happy with just black. Okay. And a bunch of little settings uh, regarding the difficulty options and stuff. Oh my god, I'm not used to those sort of platforms. You have to press up on all of them. The hitbox is just way too big. If this is what Castlevania was on the NES, I don't think it would have been as popular as it was. Where did that come from? Hold up. I'm holding up and he's not moving up. Do you have to start right on the edge? Oh my god. That's so awkward. Can I pick that up? Okay, we do have secondary weapons. Nice. Okay. Okay, that's it for that arcade version. That was horrible. What an experience. Let's try the revisited version. See what improvements they made. Whoa, okay. We have some cool pixel scaling going on. This is really cool, like I had no idea this would be included. Hmm. Wow, okay, wow. They really updated this intro, this is crazy. Oh my god. Whoa, okay. This is almost like a completely different game. Wow, the whip actually has some feeling behind it now. And we've got remix music. And it's widescreen. Okay, this is probably the highlight of the collection actually because this has obviously never been released anywhere before. This is brand new. It's really cool they put this extra effort into it. I've noticed they changed the level layout quite a bit. The bridge, now you can just walk up and down. You don't have to awkwardly hold up. I like how they kept the sprites mostly the same. Wow, I love how fast this is too. This is really cool. Oh my god, yeah, they've fixed it and then some. This is fantastic. And we have whip power-ups too. And pressing up actually makes sense this time. And the secondary weapons make sense too. This might have gone from being one of the worst Castlevania games to one of the best, honestly. What will happen if I power up even more? Whoa, okay. I didn't expect it to keep going. Whoa, okay, what's going on? Okay, this is like completely different though. Oh, okay, my power up for the whip actually went down for some reason. Oh, there's a power meter, right. So in the middle of the screen there, if you see that green bar, as that goes down, the whip, I guess, reduces back to its uh, original. Do I have to worry about those trees? Yep. Ah! Ah, 
Anderson on YouTube, hello. Uh, looks very nice, this collection. Yeah, I'm so happy. I loved the GBA collection. I played through uh, Aria of Sorrow on it not long ago. So to see the DS games get the same treatment is fantastic. All we need is Symphony of the Night on the Switch now, and then the uh, the Castlevania series is basically complete. The ones that are worth playing, anyway. I really don't care much for the uh, the 3D ones. Whoa, okay. I do wonder how different the rest of this is compared to the arcade game. I didn't get far enough to, to find out. I don't know what that does. Am I safe there? Jump over the tail. They really did some nice sprite work on this. But you can tell they still used the original arcade style sprite, but everything else around it is so much cleaner. And we get a nice little map screen in between too. Lullaby of the Devils. Wait, we're moving left? Whoa. What's that? Do their souls turn into enemies too? It laughed at me. I heard that. Ah, that was the first time it's hit me. I guess if you just stay on the floor, you're safe. I always get really confused with the earlier Castlevania games because there's so many. Like, there's obviously this original arcade one. There's random PC versions. Am I supposed to go down? Okay. There's a bunch of, like, MSX versions as well. There's obviously the version most people know, which is the original Nintendo version. There's so many, and they're all basically ports and recreations of the same game, as far as I can tell. It's so strange. I guess it was just easy to make games just in a few months for, like, every system available at the time, I guess. Very different to today, where everything can play the same game. You get a lot less unique games. Why is that flashing? Does that mean anything? Don't squash me. Ah, I guess my new powered up whip was enough to destroy the boulder. wonder what the money's for. Is there a shop later on, or is it just for points? The movement's quite nice, actually. Look how easily it is, how easy it is to move um, while you're in the air as well. That's very unlike Castlevania. Usually it's a lot stiffer than that. It still has that extreme drop off the edge of a platform, though. No, my money. Ah, uh, well, that was close. Maybe that was a bit risky. I don't want to jinx it, but I will say it feels a little bit easy. Or I guess maybe I'm just comparing it to the last one. I thought they would. Huh? Weird. Okay, it just drops after a while. That's okay then. Kind of reminds me of um, Act Razor a bit as well. Oh, we got a boomerang. That's a new weapon. We'll use it on him. Let me jump higher. Nope. Let's try it on the side before I use up all my hearts. Can you jump off the stairs? No. Okay, did it turn into a platform? 
So what does everyone think of this game so far then? From what you've seen of it. It's so cool to get another 16-bit style Castlevania game. I was not expecting this today. Don't hit me. Oh. Okay, I guess the collision just doesn't affect the boulders. Oh, that's fine by me. Oh, it doesn't matter whether I had the power up, powered up uh, whip or not at that point. Hmm. Why does that seem important? Is there something good up there? We'll see. Money, anything in here? It looks suspicious, doesn't it? Like, you should be able to go that way. They replaced drawing with button prompts. That makes sense. I was a bit worried when I saw that you can map the right analog stick to the touch control. Thought it might be a bit weird. But that makes sense if they've mapped it to the buttons. So does it map it, like, at the end of where you would draw? So, like, it's X up there, it's B down there, it's A over there. And you sort of draw the the spell. I like the idea that they managed they uh, managed to keep the, the map on the screen at all times, because that was my favourite thing about the DS games, was the fact that you always had the map on the bottom. And I guess because they were 4x3 resolution, it works quite well. You can just put it on the side of the screen. I'm really happy that more people get to experience them though, because they are fantastic games. You can do the touch controls too. Can you actually touch it properly, like on the on the Switch touch screen? Or do you mean using the analog stick? Oh, there was also microphone sections in Dawn of Sorrow, if I remember right. I wonder how they handle. Oh, another new power-up. What's that do? Oh, it replenishes as well. Wow. That's a bit overkill. A whole screen-clearing power-up that replenishes and uses regular hearts. What? How many does it use? Ten? Oh, look at that reflection on the water. That's cool. Reminds me a lot of uh, Bloodlines on the Mega Drive. Okay, let's see if we can stay up the top. I still feel like the whip's hitbox is a bit weird. But there was times there where it should have hit that bird. Time over? I didn't know there was a time limit. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. It can't pause either. Okay. Let's see what other settings we've got. So we can have scan lines on this as well. Should we see how they look? Probably not great on stream, but they look very nice on the on the screen. Yeah, I can see on the on the stream it's messing the lines up because the uh scaling's a bit off. Alright, we'll change it back, don't worry. Difficulty settings, stage select. And continue. You can't save, though, which is weird. Why have the option there if you're not allowed? Uh, touch screen or draw with the right stick. That's great. It seems like they thought of everything, then. I'll get around to it in a bit. I wanted to check this one out, because it's, it's new to me. Whereas I've already played the DS games a million times. Ah. I want that. Super Boomerang! Oh, another game that I'm very excited about from the Direct. That Tetris collection looks fantastic. Especially with all the interviews and the, the history features. Ah, oh, I was so excited. I was a little bit disappointed they didn't include Tetris... Tetris Plus. That's my favourite one. Ah, oh, we almost made it to the end. But even so, having a having a collection with all of the Super Famicom games um, is really cool. Uh, 
Ah, go away. This reminds me of a boss fight from uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. Oh, I'm out of hearts. I don't know. Don't know how many I need. There's not enough room! Wow, that was close. It does very much feel like act raises in these. This is like the big snake thing that you fight. Alright, we did it. Stage 2 complete. Um, the Tetris collection looks great. Surprised to see the Tetris company relax their standards for how Tetris but so they can release the old games. Yeah, it's great to see they're not forcing everyone to use the same control methods and you get a few more original ideas. There was a really cool one that came out last year or the year before an Apple Arcade, which I don't think many people have played. It was basically um, a Tetris rhythm game. Tetris Beat, it's called. I didn't play it too much because I don't like using wireless headphones because of the uh, the latency on them kind of games. But Maybe it's uh, something I should go back and try again. I think it might be available on Mac actually now, so maybe that's something I can try in the future. Yeah, we got the uh, awesome music again. Vampire Killer, I think it's called. Or I know it as Castlevania Birds. If you haven't seen that music video from back in the old YouTube days. And you don't know what I'm on about. Go away, Castlevania Birds. <laughs> Someone must know what I'm on about. Can we get him from up here? What? Apparently, he's just impervious to fire, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. No, not the wall chicken. Well, that's table chicken. Hey, you're still allowed to eat it. Cool. How many remixes of this song are there now? There must be like 10 different official versions at this point. Okay, can we actually use that as a platform? Yes. <laughs> uh, the painting's eyes bleeding. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. Was I supposed to go up there? I bet there's a secret up there. Can I get up? Actually, if it's that easy to get up, maybe there'll be something along the bottom here. Oh, I guess you just... Oh, that was a lucky dodge there. Not so lucky that time. I'll try throwing an axe at it instead. Can we go this way? Oh, it just loops around. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, there's too much going on now. I was complaining it was too easy. The eye is throwing eyeballs. Can we go up there? Looks like there's something there. I don't think I can go up there though. Ah! Go away, go away. Oh, that was close. I've really missed this style of Castlevania, so this is so cool to get another proper uh, proper side-scrolling game. A linear one, should I say. They could have released this as a, a separate game and people still would have bought it. Konami, I didn't think you had it in you anymore. I'm genuinely impressed. 
someone at Konami still knows what they're doing. Give me something good. Right. Boss fight time. The window's coming to life. Whoa. Okay, that's really cool. I've got 25 hearts. I should be able to get in a few ranged hits with that then. Ah! Ah, oh, come on. That's not fair. Konami made a new game, I know, incredible. And they hid it inside a collection. It's almost like they're ashamed of it. No, I haven't got any hearts left. We've got to do this the old-fashioned way. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to do this now. Although he hasn't got a massive health bar. That's such a weird animation. Oh my god. One more... No, get out of the way! Oh my god, what's going on now? Can I actually attack him? No, uh. oh, jump out of the way! Okay, it's about neck and neck. Okay, go that side. Yes. One more hit! Each, I think. Oh, that was so close! He had one hit point left. Have I got another go? Okay. I don't know how many lives I've got left. It doesn't actually say. Oh, zero. Okay. Here's my last chance then. Then we can check out Dawn of Sorrow. I'm being a bit careless there. Oh god, I hate that. Just don't transform into the weird spinning thing. Oh, I guess that's safer, maybe? Hey, we did it! I just kind of brute forced my way through the fight that time. Looks like there's only three levels left. Hopefully it'll get a bit harder. Basement Melody. Let's see if we recognise it. Don't make me go down yet, I'm not ready. There's definitely going to be something really bad down here. Why is it starting off so easy? I wish the whip power-ups would last longer. It's already run out. I can do that too. Huh. Oh no. Almost worked. So that Dracula was going to come alive then. Can you go through that door? Apparently not. Is that eyeball going to drop something on my head? Uh, it wanted to. Okay, now it is. Wow, it's like super effective throwing the axe. And the eyes only take one hit, so it's not too bad. Alright, down we go. Why did I know there was going to be water down here somewhere? There's the weird fishmen. I knew they would make an appearance. Hate the annoying fishmen. Always hate them. At least it's not Metroidvania where you get to that point and then it's like, no, now you've got to go back and find out how to swim before you can get any further. You don't get that nonsense in these kind of games. What is that? Just points. I guess eventually, if you get enough points, you get to continue. 
Oh, I didn't want to change that for the knife. No, knife can be useful though. I think it takes less hearts to use as well. That jump's too big. Why is that one red? Who's in there? Okay, is it going to do anything? No. Nope. That was weird. This is just a weird level overall. I wonder how... Uh, how different it is to the arcade one. I'm not sure what those skulls are doing. They're just like breathing fire, but nothing's happening. Oh, I hate those little guys in the first Castlevania game. Are they not going to throw... Oh, okay. They do breathe fire very slowly. So slow that you never need to worry about it. I lied. I said you never needed to worry about it. What are they doing? They're just throwing mud at me. Oh. Okay, that's when it gets annoying then. Okay. Let's get out of here. Ah, go away. Let's do the same on that side. What? I always thought it just took one. Why did that one take so many more? I need some wall chicken soon. Or wall, wall turkey, whatever you want to call it. Okay, three regular hits. Okay, that last one's not going to open up. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, wow. They are really showing off the sprite scaling. This looks like something out of one of the DS games. Oh no, I haven't got any more. Ah, okay. It takes a long time. They're really showing off the sprite scaling. What's he doing? Oh, how am I going to get up there? Jump on his hand? I guess. Okay. And then hit him in the chest. Oh, I'm going to die. No, punch the floor again. Okay. Gotta get out of the way. Uh, how did I not get hit then? I won't question it. God, I haven't got much room. Oh my god, did I manage to do it? He's only got one hit left, but so have I. Stop doing that. Oh my god, that was close. Come on. Oh. Wow. Oh my god, that was so close. I really did not think I would get through that. Yay, there we go. Stage 4 complete. That was so close. I missed the uh, the name of that one because I was deleting that spam comment. Okay, it was one of these stages. Uh, and you have to worry about the platforms because they're spiky. Though. I can't see what's hitting me. Just 
just bats everywhere. That's not fair. The bats come up eight through the floor and you can't see where they're coming from. I don't like that. Okay, there's like a Frankenstein monster. That's cool. I don't know why, but I'm finding these a lot easier to kill than usual Castlevania birds. Still haven't found a use for the money. I'm guessing you get a continue when you get a certain amount of points. I've got two continues now for some reason, even though I thought I used all my lives up. There we go. It's not a Castlevania game without a clock tower. Can we kill him before it comes back? Oh, yes. Perfect. I would say they're reusing classic enemies, but I think this, this game... Technically, came before any of this if this was the original arcade game. 1988. What a cool update, though. I wish they would do this with more uh, arcade titles. Just make them a bit more approachable. I'm going to keep hold of this fire, I think. Although the range is very, very limited. So, I don't know how useful it actually is. The physics on that are so weird. Let's try the axe instead. Right, we can destroy that guy's shield. Let's take him out too. Oh, I headbutted him! They killed him. I guess that worked. Oh, you can't jump on the stairs in the air. That's a bit annoying. Can't get over there either. Alright, let's just keep going forward. I wonder whether you can climb that chain over that side. Uh, okay, you're not going to come for me? The hitbox is very lenient on the main character. Okay, that, that guy just fell asleep. Oh, nice. We actually get to fight Frankenstein. Or, or something similar. Non-copyright infringement Stein. Damn, I didn't realise how little health I had. Where are we starting from? Oh, from the boss room. That's pretty good. Lost all the hearts, though. I guess we've got to do this properly now, then. Oh my god, what's going on? I don't know how to dodge that. I guess you can't. Uh, yeah, no idea. Maybe you just can't. I'll just keep hitting him. He's going to die anyway. Weird fight. Okay. I guess I didn't give it enough time to figure out how to dodge it. Alright, level 5 down. Seems really easy so far. Is this the last stage, really? I guess so. There's Dracula. They really toned the difficulty down a lot. Wow. Heart of Fire, stage five, stage six. Okay. Cool background and music. Ooh, we've got interactive elements too. Oh, come on, I made that jump. Let's 
some very cool music going on. No! I'm not going to be able to go that far. Big jump. That bird does annoy me. Go away. He's gonna hit me. Oh no, he turned into a platform. Nice. That was easy. Usually they have like one last attack where they dive forward at you. Is he gonna breathe fire? Very, very slowly. Okay. What? I didn't know there was anything still there. Is he gonna respawn? Oh no. Do I have to go? Is it going to come back? Do I have to jump off? Let's see if I go back down here and then back up again. Alright, I guess I just have to... That's a bit of a weird design decision. And it started me all the way back there again. Is the enemy going to be back too, or just the bridge? Okay. Ah, oh, I didn't think he was going to roll that one. Is that going to be game over? Oh. It just, it just never ends. Let's keep going. Hey, we've done a lot better this time. so easy. So I need to remember there's another one. Now we can jump. Some more candles at the top. Right, we are powered up. Here he is. Well, there's the lady from the intro. Oh, ow. Oh, no, I missed a power up. Damn. He's dead. He's dead. Or well, part one is at least. What's going on now? Oh my god, wow. What the hell? I don't know what to do. <laughs> what? Okay, let's try again. I presume it's going to start. Oh no, it started from that side. That's right. Then. Oh, all I need to do is aim, aim for the ball. Oh, what the hell? Wah! I'm getting attacked by literally everything. Oh, wow. That's intense. I think I know what you're supposed to do. Each one of the heads does a different thing. No, really? We got right to the final boss. I think. Where's this going to start from? Okay, it starts from there. We can try again. It did, what's the point of having continues if it's going to restart you from that fight anyway? I don't know how to get past then. 
Okay, so that one you watch out for the fire on the floor. This one, jump over the birds. This one, watch out for the fire on the floor. And you have to watch out for that orb hitting you as well. Okay, now duck for that one, I guess. I uh, still don't know how to dodge that one. I can jump over the birds, okay. And duck under the laser. And watch out for the fire. Ah, oh, so close. This has to be one of the coolest fights in all of Castlevania. Uh, I doubt it's going to get a physical release. They would have said so by now, right? It's going to be Limited Run. Limited Run did the uh, GBA one. Uh, oh, yes, I did it. Nice. I've kind of given up on Limited Run at this point. Like, If it doesn't get a proper physical release, I won't bother waiting anymore. Because sometimes... Uh, there's just too much going on here. Sometimes I've waited for... a. Uh, a physical release and it's taken years and by the time it turns up in the post I'm not interested in the game anymore so I think if there's a game coming out that I'm interested in and it doesn't have a physical on the same day it has a download I'll just download it does that make sense to you guys ah uh, the timing on that is really awkward Ah, uh, that one's probably the easiest. Uh, we're nearly done, at least for this phase. One more hit! Yeah, now what's going to happen? Is there another phase? Are we done? Oh, good job I caught her. That could have ended badly. All right, we did it. I presume. The first one got a regular physical release. Oh, nice. I didn't know that. We would like to thank the creators of the arcade original. That was such a cool surprise. Wow. I'm so glad that that exists. I really didn't think that they would go through the effort of making a brand new 2D Castlevania game. Haunted Castle Revisited. There we go.